Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Node SQLize. Today we are going to learn how to import the CSV using the Node and the SQLize. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. So here we have the import. So first of all, we have to create a new project with the help of the npm init y. So it will create a packet or JSON file. Then you need to install the necessary package npm packages dependencies okay so first you have to install the sqlize express sqlize clize sqlize typescript mysql csv parser express file upload then we have to create the model user.js with the respective parameters here we have the name and the email but i'm taking only the username okay and then we have the main file that is called app.js file so first create the csv and check that part okay so here is the code so we have upload okay so first we have to check the directory name upload csv file dot name okay so first we require the csv file name that should be in uploads required files no files were uploaded okay, then we have the csv okay so the data is results and the data so basically we have to push the data okay so let's try to add in the csv file so here we have the let's go and just run this project node app.js i don't find the model mo uh, models let me check this so we have the uh, let me check the models no models slash user okay, now this is linked over properly let's run okay connection has been established let's go and upload the csv file so we have to create the csv file first So here, let's create one of the uh, CSV file. Test dot CSV. So here we have test dot CSV. Let's open with the uh, our file. Where is? Office or what? This is different. I no, this is that one. So, no, this is document. Open with there is an application that is look. Office. Okay, so here we have. So we will take the first name as a username. And what we have in the database of the users. So here we have the username. Okay, created and updated at. Uh, I think it is by default. Okay, give me a check. Here I need to check this one uploads csv file dot name and pull create results whatever data we have so just we are passing the username john okay so here just we will do to the drag and drop okay let's save it use text csv go to our api then we have upload then it's a post request okay body so here we will add the file name which is the file name is file dot csv upload bar dot files or require dot files dot csv so 
let's add the CSV. We have in the HTML. Could not error open where directory permissions tonight. Okay, so let me move this file into the desktop then or the documents. Okay, so here we go with the documents. Documents, let's try to CSV file. Let's try to send CSV data imported successfully. Let's go and see. You can see that the data is imported, right? The bulk insert. So let's dive into the code level and learn step by step the things. Okay, so here we have express, express file upload, CSV parser, FS models, and this is the express. Okay, then we have upload. First, we check the required files and the CSV file. If it is not that no files were uploaded, then we will take the CSV file from the uploads. And you can see that here, if I go to the upload section, you can see that there is a test.csv file uploaded. Okay, then we are reading the file. Okay, FS create stream, then we were reading and results that push data. So, first, we all push the data into the results, then on user dot bulk create so we will just create a bulk create and results and just send it and response is that the csv data imported else it's showing the error okay and that on which port the app is listen okay so this is how you are able to import the csv that you can say the bulk insert with the help of the csv with the help of the node and the sequelize any doubt any query in that do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day